Hey, and welcome back to the cafe. So I've been doing some white painting behind the scenes today. I'm a little messy already. But what I want to do today is another study sheet here. I've got it right here on my table, this six piece study sheet we've been doing. And I want to use my little earth and sky uh, palette, just a few colors off of here. I'm going to use the indigo, the raw umber, the burnt umber, and the Payne's gray. I may throw in a little black, I may not, but I'm definitely going to use those four colors. Now, this Master's Touch kit I have here, I just bought this little palette on eBay, and then I went ahead and labeled it with the Master's Touch watercolor. This is a little plate. I love to use this plate for my palette. I actually got this at Walmart in the dishes section and they do sell them singly at least they did when I got this it has been a long time but any kind of small ceramic plate that you can get your hands on works great the uh, you know plastic tends to it makes your watercolors kind of like end up in little droplets and you get a much better spread and mix of color on the ceramic. So keep that in mind and let's go for it.
So I want to talk briefly about pens. Now, this is my favorite jelly. It's a Signo Broad uh, Uniball Jelly Pen White. This is my absolute favorite, and I want to get a set of these different sizes. Then I have just a little Jelly Roll Sakura um, number eight. This is a smaller jelly pen white. And then I've got a, uh, a just a regular thick um, permanent Sharpie permanent marker and then a fine liner ultra fine point Sharpie and I love these for everything I do everything I've always got to have them close by so I just bought this one it's a micro brush sign pen it's an extra fine black water-based ink and I really wanted waterproof but since I'm going here's the difference here's this pen and it's got a really beautiful fine brush tip on it beautiful so you can get a little thicker and a little thinner with this now this is a uh, it's not a fountain pen but it's a beginner Beginner's lettering and calligraphy set. Here, let me bring you in. So sorry. 
Okay, this is Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby, and I got this half off. So I always wait for their Master's Touch stuff to go on sale if I need any of it. And they have all kinds of stuff. They've got paper. I'm not a big fan of their watercolor paper, the Master's Touch, but they have paints that I love and pens that I love. They have a lot of stuff. They've got brushes that are really good. So you want to keep an eye out for that if you have access to Hobby Lobby. So this came with this double sided. This has got the fine tip on this end and then a little felt thicker tip on this end for this pen. And this one does say pigment ink and then it doesn't say waterproof, but there's a couple here. These are the graphic ones and they say water and fade proof and it does say pigment ink, water resistant. So this is a just a fine tip pen here. This is what you get with this little set. And then you get this beautiful brush pen and it's got a really fine point to it, which I love. And then these are very cool. This has a very thick uh, chiseled brush tip so that when you're writing, you don't have to worry about switching the direction. It's automatically gonna give you thin and thick lines. And this is a 3.5, there you go. And then you get a thinner one. So you get that same chiseled edge, but thinner. And then this one is a 2.0. Come on. Oh, there we go. 2.0. So you get these five. So let's go ahead and do some mark making on these little studies and see what we come up with.
So here's these weird little studies now, and I did go pretty fast, as you saw. I didn't give myself a lot of time to think about this. Now, I've had power lines on my mind, and I'm, I'm trying to understand inside of me how to make them look cool, but um, I like them, but I don't love them. You know, I want them to show up here and there, but it's not the end of the world if I don't ever do it again, you know what I mean? But I'm glad I gave this a little shot. And then I love the trees and I really love to mix the thick and thin lines with the trees. And I should have done a little bit better of a job of thinning these thick ones out here. So you can really go far with uh, doing your trees with just a couple of Sharpie pins, but you wanna take just a bit more care than I did with it. I like how it's going over the background, but then when I did the lightning down here, I really wanted to kind of drag it behind some of the watercolor. So it's really fun to play around and do both ways here. And then I've got this lightning bolt here that's over top of everything. And this little tiny tree that's just kind of sitting there floating in space weird 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 but I love this because you know these two little abstract ones they don't have any rhyme or reason to them but I like the composition of them and I like the marking it's an opportunity to communicate in with marks and symbols that's what I'm trying to say and I love being able to do this and I love being able to do it fast and I get locked in a lot to crossing over my lines and things like that but it's okay because you can break the rules by going off the black and then you can like stay uniform and stay within the other lines. You can just set whatever perimeter for yourself that you wanna set. Now, I wanna go over one more thing real quick. This infamous tape situation that I've got going here, this is so funny to me. I, I've solved it. I just had to get more patient and I knew to be more patient and thank you all for telling me to heat it up. I did do that. I just didn't do it long enough. So what I found for filming purposes is I just get really tight in and I go over this like eight times, just one piece at a time. And then I film pulling it because I think it's very satisfying to pull the tape on camera and I hope you do too. And I'm going to go ahead and prep this piece and do that right now with these and then cut them apart and show you them individually. And that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this project. Give it a shot. Watercolor is such a great background for doing this kind of work. And you can really let yourself have a lot of freedom.